Virtual work parties and happy hours, I mean, look, if I get an invite to another virtual social event, it's just like, Video chat, burnout, Zoom fatigue, whatever you want to call it, it is real. And the last thing I want to do at the end of a workday is to go to another meeting disguised as a social outing. Real talk? Come on. How many of you have been to a virtual event, gotten in, really did not have fun, and just faked a bad Wi-Fi connection? Ooh, my mm, machine. Sorry, I have to miss it. Bye, it was good seeing you. 2020 wasn't like any other year. It was really, really hard. But a lot of companies around the world are most likely gearing up for some sort of office party right now. To the people organizing these virtual events, I give them all my respect. It is a tough hill to climb. And I know everyone is trying their absolute best. But seriously, is there any secret sauce or best practice to how to throw a virtual party that doesn't stink? Well, okay, you need to like close your eyes, take a deep breath and believe that this can actually work. <laughs> and it's going to be fun. In fact, it might be the best party you've ever thrown in your whole life. That's Brian Raffinelli. He's the founder and chief creative officer of Raffinelli Events. He puts on all kinds of events and his clients are often big names. He's not new to virtual events, but he had to shift all of his events in 2020 to virtual. I immediately was like, oh my God, you know, because we had probably 25 events in the spring. I'm like, what were we going to do? For my nonprofit clients, especially, it was like, they still have to raise money. So they were like, okay, what are we gonna do? And we're like, oh, we're gonna go virtual. You know, and it was like in the dinosaur era, right? Of Zoom and like, you know, signals coming in and out and like all that kind of crazy stuff. Today, it is like light years ahead. The stuff that we can do virtually is, is magnificent. I'm so excited to be talking to Brian about this because actually I have to organize one of these parties for my colleagues at HBR. In your opinion, why do so many just the average garden variety Zoom party stink? Why is it so unpleasant most of the time? I think it's the unknown and people don't like looking at each other, right? That, that, that's a big deal. Like, I love it. I can see their face. I can see if they're interested. I can see if they're bored. I can see if they're reading their email, but maybe those are all the reasons people don't like the, there's an anticipation of like, this is not going to be good. Right? So that's, what's so great about it in so many ways. It's like, wow, it's kind of easy to make it good because everybody expects it to be bad. All right, let's get down to it. What are the elements of a successful, fun, eye roll free, virtual office party. Look, this is what you have to understand. This is just like rather every party, like how do you get people to come to your party? You know, you, you ask them, they respect you. Okay, I get that. You have to believe that this will work and then you have to encourage a group of, a smaller group of the big group that this is really gonna be awesome. Why? Because everyone's gonna start talking about it. So exploit the cool kids. Yeah, Check. exploit the cool kids, get them on your side, tell them it's gonna, going to be awesome. And even right now, because you don't know what you're going to do yet, you've got to fake it, right? <laughs> this is going to be awesome. For sure. It's going to be awesome. Can't miss it. Are you going to be around on Thursday, December 10th? Yeah, I have very little going on in my life right now after work. So, yes. It's not going to be a lot of time, right? So that's one of yeah. the little pro tips. Like, this is not going to be a lot of time. How long should it be? Under 30 minutes. Under 30 minutes. Okay. By the way, if you say no longer than 30 and you do 20, you're a hero, right? Okay. Amazing. <laughs> so sometimes Brian recommends sending something like party favors or a cocktail kit to guests beforehand so everyone can have a shared experience. But that can be costly. Do I have a budget? No, your budget is zero. If, if there is no budget, right, then, then have people actually participate with what they have, right? So. That could be signs, that can be funny holiday hats, that could be almost anything that you instruct them to do it, right? Doesn't cost you anything. Um, have some fun and games or surprise and delight your friends or do both. I'm honestly, I'm so excited. Like after talking to you, I was a little nervous. But the first step, as you said, believe. That's pretty powerful, I, would, I have to say. I think, I think I've convinced you actually, so. 
this was a good session. Okay, now I have my virtual party roadmap, so it's time to get started. Step one, ooh, <laughs> I have to believe this thing is gonna get pulled off. Repeat after me, it's not a meeting, it's a party. I believe, I want to believe, I am believing. They're lucky I'm putting on this thing because it's going to be amazing, I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna send a uh, save the date and hopefully add a touch of mystery and clarity. Um, and above all, I just want people to show up. I think I'm getting their cheers. You're invited to the best HBR web team holiday party. We're gonna see what happens. Okay. Just wanted to know, are you guys coming? Yeah, absolutely. Didn't even know about it. I'm feeling the pressure. What time is it? <laughs> 3.30 to 4. The next part I have to do is figure out what the surprise is that I promised. The bar, again, is low. I can blow everyone's mind. Bottom line, this party cannot stink. We have a fun background. I need a fun background. You have time. You have time. How, how do I do a fun background? Look, we're not going to watch the entire party. And plus, uh, were you even invited? So the main plot line of this holiday party was a mystery gift exchange. So instead of buying actual physical gifts for each other, everyone was gifted with a little bit of weirdness from the internet and it sparked a lot of joy. It's like the most random what, like weather website, but the picture in the middle makes me laugh so much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the party just ended and I'm just like reveling in what happened. Okay, how did it go? Um, you know, did it stink? I don't think so. It, it wasn't like the best party of all time, but it was certainly a party of the time. And it was really great to see everyone. And I think having that energy and holiday magic, just, you know, believe in it, that's really the key thing here. And even though I had a budget of zero dollars and we're unable to be together, we're just here virtually, at the end of the day, we're all in this together and you really can't put a price tag on that. If you're still watching, one, thank you. Um, but two, I'm really curious, like what do you want me to explore? Like what problems do you have at work? I'd love to solve them. Please leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you have any other ideas, throw them my way. All right, peace out.